so I'm in nature. Nature, since uh, time immortal, has always been viewed as the doorway to the realm of spirit. And caves and waters, moving waters is the entrance way to the realm of spirit. So I'm going to give my tarot deck Camino pathway. Okay, I've used it and now I'm going to give it its pathway. And so I'm going to find a place where to deposit this deck respectfully and pay the spirits and thank it uh, for being there with me during these six years. So I'm just finding that place where to leave the deck. Remember in the caves and rivers are the entranceways, uh, moving water is the entranceway to the realm of the dead. So this is clear. I'm just going to pray and meditate and give it its camino, its pathway. So there goes the deck. And I'm going to pay the spirits and thank them. As it goes on its journey uh, back to the realm of the spirits. Honor and respects, Luz y Progreso. This is Sancista Brujo Luis. So before I start the video, I just want to say thank you to all uh, the people who ordered the three uh, nail cross or the two nail cross with the extra nail. Uh, they sold real well. Thank you very much. I sold them very affordably, $15, uh, and they pretty much sold out. So I finished up the last of the nails. I'm going to leave a link down below. Go check out that so you can get information. This is the last of it. Um, I'll show you what they look like. Okay, and the resguardo or the packet will have three nails, uh, one in a cross, pretty much like this. Let's see if I have a book right here so you can see it. I don't know if you can see it that way better. Okay, so each reguardo will have three nails, two in a cross and uh, one in the bag with it to represent los tres clavos de Jesús. So this is it. After this is gone, I am done. Um, I finished this this weekend. So go check out that video if you haven't seen that. This will be the last of it and then I'm done with that. Uh, but I just want to say thank you to all those who ordered uh, Los Reguardos and I hope they bring you much protection, much blessings. And now on to the video. If you've been following my YouTube channel, you know that I have been reading uh, professionally uh, since I was what 18, 19 years old, um, and my first love was uh, the tarot deck, which I don't have. Well, of course, my, the original one that I used, I don't have, of course. But one of my favorite decks is the Rider Weight. All my decks I keep in boxes. Okay, I'm trying to find a Rider Weight clone. Okay, this one right here. You know, I just always felt comfortable with the Rider Weight. This is something that, that was the first deck that I picked up and just a deck that I personally love. All my decks I keep in boxes. Okay, and you can see that I keep all my decks protected in their own boxes. And I started, I first picked up my first deck when I was 18, I think 18 or 19. It was, yeah, it was the fall, September, October of uh, 1989. I first picked up my first deck. Another way that I was taught to divine, and I do, I used to read the palm. I still do. Sometimes I read the, the palm. is tabaco, which is the, the cigar. Uh, but a lot of times when a client sits in front of me, you will often see that I have a glass of water. Okay? 
I have a glass of water and I always have a candle lit when I'm reading the client okay especially if they're sitting next to me and oftentimes I just have a number two pencil or whatever this is it's just a regular pencil and I always have a note a notebook and I do a la clave espiritual or automatic writing okay this is something that I was taught early on in espiritismo to do la clave espiritual uh, when reading or when consulting a client so this is part of my you know espiritismo my my culture something my grandmother did my grandmother did this and she also uh, read la baraja española the the spanish deck for her clients so this video is about reading and your tools and decks and how to, when your deck gets old, what do I personally do, me, myself, what do I do with my decks after they get too old, um, and do I throw them away or what do I do with my decks? And no, I, I don't throw my decks away. These are sacred tools that, uh, to me, they're just something that's very sacred or very valuable. So I'm going to explain to you what I do when the deck is very old. And I chose one deck in specific. And there's a reason why I chose this. Uh, the New Orleans Voodoo Tarot. I know a lot of people don't like it. I love this deck. I picked this deck up when it first came out in 1992. This is my seventh edition, Terry. I mean, this is the seventh uh, edition of this deck that I've gotten and uh, since 1992 we're talking about what 25 years or so uh, so I've had a long relationship with this deck um, and what do I do with the deck when it gets too old do I just throw it away so this is what this video is about today so before I go further hey, I just want to go a little bit deeper every time I read a client especially when they're here, I always have my water, mi agua for my spirits, to give them a claridad and a clarity, and I always have a candle lit to give them light, to give them loose. okay? This is a certain ritual that I personally do when, I, uh, when I'm uh, uh, doing a divination or a spiritual consultation for a client. I always place a round mat you know where I'm going to read. Okay, I want to make this as sacred as possible. So I always have a, a, a mat. Now most of my decks, this is a deck that I use for a lot of spiritual consultations. Uh, it's, an, it's a beautiful uh, Cory shell box. You can see that right there. Uh, they have their pañuelos. Uh, pañuelo is um, their cloth, their spread cloth. So this one fits in the box. A lot of them they do not fit. So what I do is I take it out of the spread, the deck. This right here is La Maria Leonza deck, which is a, a path of Espiritismo from uh, Venezuela. This is one of those decks that I, I enjoy using. But anyways, I take El Pañuelo and I place it over the round circle, like so. And then I place it in front of me, in front of the candle, in front of the water. And I do my spiritual consultation i just wanted to add that to the video to me the tarot deck or la baraja the spanish cards or any deck that i use uh, for divination for consulting with the spirits is a, is a sacred tool it is something that is very sacred to me um and so a lot of people say what happens what do you do with your deck when it gets too old do you throw it away or, or do you discard it so i just wanted to uh, talk a little bit more about that in this video right here so one of the, de the decks, first of all, I want to show you this box. This box was done uh, for me by my ahado, uh, El Brujo Cofan, and I'll leave a link down below if you're interested in a tarot box. He makes these real beautiful, and he designs it the way you want. Uh, so I keep all my decks in a box, and he, he does a really beautiful job. This one is the sixth edition since 1992 of yeah this is number six of the voodoo tarot and this is one of those decks that i really enjoy that i use the most and i just dropped one that i use the most let me see what message i got for myself okay so this is one of the decks that i use i'm gonna place this aside this is one of the uh, decks that i use the most uh, for when it comes to spiritual consultation um and i view them as sacred tools 
as I've just said, this is the, the sixth edition. So you can see that shuffling, I mean, it's already bent. It's not easy. I view that the deck has a Pitonisa spirit. A Pitonisa spirit would be like a soothsayer spirit. Okay. Uh, is it the same spirit? Well, sometimes when I first bought the deck, a lot of people are going to be like, what is this guy talking about? But when I first bought the deck, there was a Pitonisa spirit that spoke through the the first deck that I had and I remember that as I was uh, shuffling the deck it, it did that car you know when you the cards like literally fly out of my hand and they fell into a bucket of water and I knew that it was time for that spirit to move on the rest of the decks when they got too old um, I did divination and I found it uh, you know, how to discard them but I always saved a couple of the cards within the deck and I'm going to show you why I saved some of the cards. But I took some of the cards and le di camino. I gave that spirit a, the path to move on. That it had done what it, it needed to do for me uh, at that, you know, within that period that I had the deck. Because again, I view the deck, el, eh, el tarot o la baraja, as a mouthpiece to a pitonisa spiritual guide. A pitonisa spiritual guide would be like a soothsayer spirit uh now some could it could be a, it could have been a negrita it could have been a gitana uh you know it's been six decks that i've had of this so it's been different spirits and sometimes one deck had the same spirit during three a uh, you know card you know decks literally three decks the spirit went off with this uh deck for three cards and then it moved on so do I just throw away my tarot when they get too old that I cannot use them no more? No, I do not get. I do not throw them away. Uh, oftentimes, I bury them. I leave them under a tree. I take them to a cemetery, and I always save a couple of the cards from the last deck. Why do I do this? Because I do a certain ritual that when I get another deck, I want to incorporate some of the spiritual energy that was in this old deck into the newer deck so terry let me move this all the way terry just purchased a, this for me it's an early birthday uh, gift and my birthday's not until next month uh but he pur purchased this earlier this new deck when this deck which is the seventh one that i've had since 1992 and I'm going to start using this deck. I'm going to start blessing it and consecrating this deck. Uh, there's a certain ritual in this book. I mean, this box set, which I'm going to open so you can see. Really beautiful. Um, it's, a, it's a beautiful book. I enjoyed it. A lot of people don't like it. It is New Orleans voodoo. This has nothing to do with Haitian voodoo. One thing about this deck, in 1992, this introduced me to the culture of voodoo as it was practiced in the United States. So this led me, it was this deck right here that led me into Puerto Rican Sanse, into Dominican 21 division, into Venezuela Maria Leonza. It was this deck that, that piqued that interest within me. So I owe this deck a lot because this opened the door for me. Personally, this opened the door for me wanting to learn more about that. At the time, before I got this, I had um, Yorisha Tarot. And at that time, I was in Santeria and I had received my Collares and my Warriors. And I have much respect for, for uh, Santeria and for all the Babalochas and Yalochas. I'm not here to disrespect you. You know, I still have my Warriors and I still have some of my Collares from that tradition. But it never resonated with me with as a, an espiritista, you know, being born and raised an espiritista, my grandmother. So, just to, you know, I have much respect for the Orishas, they are in my life, I have much respect for the people who, uh, there's a Santero in Boston, uh, uh, Quinta, Quintana, who I do his, uh, his misas and his, his sesiones for him, so I have a lot of respect for the community. But anyways, it was that uh, Orisha deck that led me to the Santeria tradition, um, and then this one led me to wanting to learn about uh, Lo Misterio, uh, whether it was in Puerto Rican Sanse, uh, Dominican 21 Division, and then led me, believe it or not, this opened the door, it led me to wanting to learn about Maria Leonza in Venezuela. 
so I'm sorry I am rambling let me show you what the deck looks like what this uh, box set consists of so let me open up the box so you can see what uh, this deck consists of now as I said as I stated earlier I use a the Rider Weight or a Rider Weight clone. I also use the Maria Leonza deck. I'm not here to promote the artists or even though it's a beautiful, you know, Sally and Glassman and Luis Martinez, uh, but I'm not here to promote them, even though I do enjoy this, you know, and if you want to check it out, <laughs> I'm sure they'd appreciate it. Comes with this sturdy box. Mind you, I've got so many of these boxes. I think I got. Yeah, six of these boxes upstairs, and I use them uh, to place jewelry in, literally, and they're sturdy, they've lasted that long, uh, and it comes with a beautiful book, nice and tight, okay, this deck, and then of course the cards are inside uh, the box itself, beautiful book, uh, and it explains a little bit about the cards, each of the cards, there's a ritual in here, um, I think I followed it when I was about 22 when I when I when I did it, you know. And at that time, I was practicing a European witchcraft, traditional witchcraft here in, in Massachusetts. It influenced me. So sorry, it's, it's kind of hot. <laughs> I'm a little sweaty in here. But anyways, yes, beautiful book. Now there's also a book that she did. If you're gonna get this deck, which is called Voodoo Visions, I also recommend this book. Uh, it doesn't come with the deck this one that it comes with the deck but if you can find this deck I think it's out of print but if you can get it it is by Sally Ann Glassman I definitely recommend it is a beautiful uh, book I don't know if you can hear the thunder and lightning out there it is raining outside so anyways I'm gonna open up my cards and make sure that all of my cards are in the deck. They come in two little piles wrapped up in plastic. Here's one and here's the other. So, and it is a sturdy box. And the other ones I literally use to keep a lot of my, these are like my jewelry boxes. I keep them uh, to save jewelry. I'm probably rambling, so let me check let me check make sure that all the cards are here so all the 70 uh, 79 cards are in the deck a lot of people are saying 79 cards there's usually 78 uh, cards in a tarot deck yes there are all my other tarot decks have 78 cards the voodoo tarot has 79 if you want to this is not what this is about but it, it does and there's a reason check it out um, I always have a face card from the moment that I picked up my the first voodoo tarot, it has always been Marie eh, Lavo, which is the, the voodoo queen of New Orleans. Uh, and here is the old deck. You can see it always has a face, the, a face card. And you can see the crispiness of the new deck and my old one. It's breaking my heart that I'm going to... Because uh, what I do is... The first time that I had this deck and I used it for a couple of years and it got worn out, literally I was shuffling it and it just flew out of my hands and it went into water. I mean literally it went to a bucket of water. The other ones, what I did was um, I wrapped them up in a cloth. Um, I listened to the spirit. The spirit guide, it guides me. And I give it light, I give it Camino, I give it the pathway to move forward. It did its mission with me, so I give it its path. But I always have a face card for that Pitonisa spiritual guide that speaks through the deck. This is one card that I'm definitely not going to get rid of until the next deck. Okay, there's a reason why. What do I do with the deck? Do I just throw them away? No, I do not throw the deck away. What I do... Well, of course, I, I bury them or I, uh, I bring them to a river where the, where the water is, wrap them up in a cloth, and I respectfully let the spirit go, go on its journey. But I want some of the energy of the older cards in my newer cards. Now, where did I learn this? I don't know. I, did, I don't even remember where I picked this up. This is something that I personally do. I always felt comfortable comfortable for me it's something that I've always done um, and so I still do that with all my decks what I do is I always have a receptacle like this 
and of course I have my candle which is right here and literally I'm gonna go start with the ancestor cards is this the answer this dance sorry about that yeah the dance card okay literally I know people are gonna cringe right now I start lighting it and I'm gonna give it and make it into ashes and I have my receptacle here where I collect all the ashes I go through this until the spirit tells me to stop and the rest uh, I mean sometimes there have been times where it said to do the whole deck you know but most of the times it's just a few cards what I want to do is get some of the ashes from that old card now you want to make sure you do this in a ventilated area be careful when working with fire so I'm gonna do this uh, to some of the cards and then I will be back and a lot of people are probably cringing but there's a reason there's a method to my madness and why I do what I'm doing so you see it's gonna burn I'm gonna do this until the spirit tells me to stop doing this and then I go on to the next uh, process of the video so I'm going to burn out of this deck this old deck a uh, well, the older one nine cards I just burnt one the next one I'm going to burn is per just me personally is Carnival Gran Bonage there's a reason why I'm doing this Gran, Gran Buen Angel Aysan uh, The Ancestors uh, which one's the one? uh, Thibonage Angel Pequeño Master of the Head Possession and the ancestors so i'm gonna go on with that next one which is the ancestors and i'm gonna get this nice and lit and i'm gonna burn all these nine cards because i want the ashes of these cards and again i am saving it in a receptacle which is uh this metal uh what do you call this este calderito this little calderon Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to burn those seven cards. Luz para tu, luz para los seres, luz para los ancestros. Me doy camino a los seres y los misterios y los espíritus. So I'm going to burn uh, these nine cards, making sure that I save the ashes in the receptacle, in the little calderito. Better to do this outside than inside, trust me. But I'm doing it because it's raining outside. Beautiful day. Thundering and lightning out the ancestors, the spirits are raining upon us on the earth today. So I'm gonna get this done. So I don't know if you can tell from the video, my t-shirt is a little wet. It is thundering and it's raining outside. So it's a little wet. When you're working with the elements, whether it's fire, whether it's water, whatever, always expect the worst. I went outside to make sure that I burnt the rest of uh, the nine cards, I burnt them outside, I'm a little wet. I want to say thank you to Maria, first of all, Maria Lourdes, uh, she bought me this uh, Chef Father's Day, so thank you Maria Lourdes, I'm wearing it for you, I wanted to shout that out. But anyways, always respect the elements, always respect um, these things. Expect the worst, especially when you're building energy. I literally, as I was doing this, my camera fell on the candle. Uh, I, I tipped over the glass of water. I broke a glass, so I had to get another glass. Um, so always expect the worst when you are lighting fires. Please do not do this in the house. I just did this for the purpose of the video. I went outside, so my shirt is a little wet. But he, anyways, here are the ashes. I'm going to let them cool down and I should have done this outside because I'm going to get ashes all over the house of course. You can probably see the smoldering, you probably can't. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just get all these ashes nice and carefully powdered down. And this will be the last process of what I do with those nine cards. Now here's my old deck. Now remember I said that I dropped <laughs> the glass of water. I literally dropped the glass of water on my old deck. Um, so now they're definitely, I mean, well, no, they're still shuffling. Yeah, they're still shuffling, but not as good as they used to. You can see they literally bend. It's really hard for me. 
uh, but again it is a sacred tool I do not throw them away I save the face card okay this is card is from the old deck I save this face card and then when I consecrate another deck then I will burn this card as well um, but I save this face card it's gonna go with my new deck this card will not be used this will be just like a foundation for the next cards so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna powder this down get this part down and show you the last process of what I do uh, with this uh, the ashes of my old deck again remember I only burnt me personally I only burnt nine nine is the number of los muertos the dead and what I do with the ashes uh, with the old deck and with the new deck okay, so now that the ashes are nice and cool I made sure that they were nice and cool and you can see I can handle the ashes I try to powder it as much as I could Okay. I have my old deck, okay, I mean sorry, my new deck with the old uh, face card, I don't know if you can hear the thunder outside, this thundering lightning outside, but my old card, now I'm going to place these into a box because I want to uh, invite the spirit in, you know, so here I am going to use this always as um, a foundation for the pitonisa that's going to communicate through this a uh, deck of cards so that's what that looks like right there that card will not be used and is just a foundation a connection a conduit uh, from my old deck to my new deck so here is my new deck okay I always use the Marie Laveau as uh, the face uh, of my my Baraja, the face of the Pitonisa spirit that will communicate uh, through this deck. So, what I do now is I take the cool ashes, and I'm going to show you that they are cool. Okay, I can handle it, literally handle it. Now, with my power hand, I am a left-handed person, so with my power hand, I'm going to take, you can see the ashes, I'm going to take the ashes, and I'm going to make uh, the symbol of the cross, and you're not going to see it, but the symbol of the cross on that face card, okay? Then, the rest of the ashes, well not the rest, but some of the ashes, I'm going to literally sprinkle over my cards, okay? I don't know if you can see that, okay? Sprinkle it over my cards. Okay, sprinkle it on the four corners of the cards. It's just like that. I'm gonna sh let's just do this real quick. I don't want to drop the cards. And what I'm gonna do now is shuffle the cards. I'm gonna get all that ashes in my new deck. Okay. Just do that until it feels comfortable for me. I'm doing the four corners. It's all spiritual and symbolic. I'm going to do that three times. So I did one, two, I don't know if I did, I think I did, but anyways. So I'm going to do this, Maybe if you can see the ashes, three times, get the ashes in there. I'm going to do that one more time. What I'm doing is I'm making a connection, a spiritual link uh, with the last Pitonisa of my old deck and the Pitonisa spirit. Pitonisa is like a soothsayer spirit of this Baraha because, again, my deck is a mouthpiece to that spirit. And again, I'm going to shuffle the deck. Okay, until it feels nice and comfortable for me. Okay, just kind of keep doing that. It's kind of weird because this is a brand new deck. And I'm just going to do that until it feels nice and comfortable for me. Now, with my old deck, I'm going to do the same thing with the exception of the face card that I have in there. That's going to be the foundation of communicating with that Pitonisa spirit. I'm going to do the same thing 
I'm just gonna, Ochun, yeah, that's Ochun is in the front. Uh, whatever color comes up in front, I'm gonna make the sign of the cross three times over that. And I'm going to, again, put ashes, sorry, I'm making a sign of the cross on these cards. And this is just a ritual that I do, I'm not telling people to do it, but people ask me, do I just throw away my cards? No, I don't throw away my cards. I do a ritual, because this was a tool that I've used, you know, for years and years and years. And these should be sacred objects that you just do not get rid of. And what I do, I can hardly shuffle these anymore, okay? So I'm going to shuffle them and do this three times. And I'm going to give this deck Camino. Camino is pathway. It has done its job. Uh, Camino, meaning it's going to, it's done its job. It's been with me five years, I think this deck, five, six years. Um, it's done its job. It needs to move on. Sometimes the spirit that was the Pitonisa that spoke to this deck is not finished with you yet. So it goes on to the next deck. This one, it's, it's, it's ready for another mission, espiritual, another spiritual mission, whether the spirit elevates or, you know, le doy partida, that's always going to be in my heart. It was a part of my cuadro espiritual for five years, six years. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to give it Camino. It's a sacred tool, and I do not throw these in the garbage. I take this to a point of nature, it's raining outside, and either I will leave it under within a cemetery, the spirit might ask uh, to be placed in a cemetery, be uh, placed in a, a, a river where the water runs, you know, far, never in a, in a lake where the water is just still um, under a tree. So I'm going to uh, let the spirit go, okay? This is how I do it. I do not throw my cards into the garbage, period, point blank in the story. You just don't do that. That's disrespectful because it was something that you use spiritually um, and should it should be respected until the last moment, until you're done with it. And then that spirit should give be given uh, the doorway, el camino, to move on. Okay? So... I'm gonna, it's raining and thundering outside, but I'm gonna do this, uh, bring this out to the point of nature where it needs to go, and finish with this deck, which is the new deck. Now I'm gonna go find, because I shuffle them, uh, find the face card to this uh, baraja. So now I take the red cloth that, was, that I used to wrap my old deck, because since it is a Pitonisa spirit, um, I always like to keep my decks covered. Now, Pitonisa spirits, again, they are soothsayers. Um, some people have a gitana in their cuadro espiritual, uh, a Romani, a gypsy, to represent their Pitonisa. This one, she helps me with La Baraja Española. But the one that speaks through this uh, deck, and then I... Uh, is my mi negrita now mi negrita a lot of people that word negrita in spanish we don't it's not as bad as it sounds in english is me this is mi negrita right here okay some people call her la madama so what i'm going to do is i'm going to dedicate esta, esta, this uh baraja this uh playing deck this tarot deck to mi negrita my my uh, in in Santeria, they call her La Madama in Puerto Rican. Espiritismo, we call La Negrita, okay? We don't really necessarily use the word La Madama. She's the pitonisa that speaks through this deck. So what I do is I take the new deck and I wrap it up into the old cloth that used to be the home of, or that I used to wrap and use as a spreadsheet, I guess, for my newer deck. And I wrap it up like so, place it into the box with the old deck, which is the foundation, that's the face card, and I will place it inside the box carefully, and I will cover it up best as I can, okay, and I have it inside my box, and I will place this in front of my negrita, okay, which some people say is la madama, in Puerto Rican, Espiritismo, in Brujería, we call them Las Negritas, okay? Um, 
and she's my pitonisa spirit that, that communicates through uh, la baraja or through the deck. So what I do is I take the new deck and I place it in front of her for nine days. Let me wrap it up real good so I can show you what it looks like. Give me one second. So I wrap it up and I place it into the box and I place it in front of my Negrita, who happens to be my Pitonisa, and for nueve días, nine days, I change the water, I give her the water, uh, place it in front of my Negrita, which she's over here, uh, or La Madama, if you want to call her La Madama, and for nine days, I give, a, I place a candle, okay, una velita, in front or on top of the, make sure there's a plate or something, uh, to protect the cards, and I place it in front of it, and I just use emergency candles. I let the candle go out, and I do this for nine days. I do not use that deck for nine days, but I still do a divination. I, 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 my schedule goes around this, so I still do divination uh, with the regular playing cards, Ola Baraja Española, the Spanish playing card. But I do not use those cards for nine days. I, you know, give them that novena. And also, I'm giving respect to that old spirit uh, that has moved on, you know, uh, that novena de Rosario, that, that, that nine days for me to mourn, not mourn, but to respect and, and give thanks that that spirit was there and was with me for those uh, six years or whatever, how many years it was with me, and it's time for that spirit to move on, and I'm giving this new spirit, this new Pitan, Pitonisa spirit, uh, the respect of nine days and then after those nine days which I do my prayers and all that um, and I light a new uh, candle on the same time every day and I give it a little prayer and make sure that the water is um, nice and clean uh, give me one second there's one more thing that I also do so for those nine days that I'm doing this uh, mi negrita Mi madama is working for me, so I like to perfumarla. I give her tobacco, you know, and I like to perfumarla. La negrita, they often like, uh, my gitana actually likes La Pompeya more so than mi madama, mi negrita. Mi negrita loves Rev Dior, which is this perfume right here. These are spiritual colognes. You can pick these up at Botanicas, okay? Um, and of course, La Pompeya, which is really popular really popular within Puerto Rican, Espiritismo, Haitian Voodoo, uh, all throughout Latin America when it comes to working with the spirit. So since my Negrita is trabajando for me, I like to perfume her down. I don't know if I wanna, yeah, I'll get her over here. I like to perfume her down, you know, because she is trabajando for me, you know, and she's a lady and she needs to be perfumada. You know, and I give her a tobacco. If you don't smoke tobacco, then incense, but I, I give her tobacco, I blow tobacco, I blow tobacco into the, the, the deck for the nine days, uh, but I do not use it spiritually until those nine days is over. This spirit right here will be the mouthpiece for that deck. Anyways, or if it is not this spirit in general, it will be an espíritu, a spirit that works under la línea, under la comisiones, la corte of this spirit right here, this negrita right here, uh, because all our spirit guides, they have comisiones, cortes, or líneas that work under that spiritual guide. So that's what I do. Anyways, this is a long ritual. Sorry, I just wanted to show you because a lot of people think I just throw my deck away. I do not throw my deck away. It is a ritual that I do um, for my cards, not just only, not so much my tarot deck as more so my spiritual decks, decks that I used as a mouthpiece or a conduit uh, to communicate with the world of spirit in case I don't want to mount and, and the person just wants to communicate with the spirit without me mounting uh, uh, spiritually, then I use, uh, I do this ritual for that. Uh, 
the other decks I don't throw away I don't do this you know like the tarot decks I don't necessarily throw them away but I do bring them into the river or into the forest or into a cemetery and I give them Camino uh, but I don't necessarily do this ritual I only do this ritual uh, with a deck that I use as a mouthpiece for the spirit now how do I invoke the spirit into the deck I'm not gonna make this video long um, I first picked up this this the voodoo deck. I followed the instructions in here. Uh, there's a ritual in here. I haven't done this. Uh, I'm sure I've, I've changed it over the years because I have not read this book in years. Um, but it's a really good book. Comes with the deck. It's a really beautiful book. Um, what was the other book that she wrote? I think this was by uh, Louis Martinez, which is a really beautiful book. Her book is right here. Okay, if you can pick this up, I definitely recommend to pick this up uh, to understand this deck better. It's, it's not the the it, you know the um, the meanings for the cards are not like traditional tarot cards. You have to use this very intuitive as it's an intuitive deck, and I save my boxes as jewelry boxes. You know, I, I place all my jewelry in these things. Anyways, this is San Sister Blue Luis. I'm gonna end the video. If you have any questions, leave them down below. If you have a comment, uh, comments down below. Hit that like button, subscribe if you have not subscribed. Um, and smash that little bell button to get notifications of when I post a new video. It is August, summertime. I don't do as much videos as I would like to. Uh, as fall, you know, I'm very busy during the summertime. Fall comes, I will have more videos out there for you guys. So I'm still here. Just wanted to get this out for you. It's a quiet day. It's a thundering day, and I, I said this is the perfect time for me to do this uh, little ritual. Anyways, much respects, much honor. Thank you all for subscribing and joining the channel. I really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Lo quiero mucho, mucho. Un beso to everybody. Eh, de tu brujo boricua favorita, favorito, Sancista Brujo Luis. Ciao, 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 ciao. Have a good day. Have a, enjoy the rest of your summer.